Hey there, everybody. It is Stacy coming at you, and I'm really excited today because I'm going to be taking you back. We're going a little retro, and we're going to be painting our own version of cassette tapes. I know it's coming up backwards on here, but when we get painting, it will be the right way. But I want you to go ahead, put on an apron, get all your paint supplies together, and we'll get started and you can design these however you'd like. You can make them whatever colors you'd like. You can have them themed however you'd like with whatever kind of music you like. There's a lot of likes I just said. So I will see you over at my little art table and we will go ahead and get started. Yay! Okay, so I am all set up, ready to go. And I got some paper towel to wipe my brushes off on. Got three different size brushes. I got a large one, a medium one, and a small guy. And then I also have, for later, I'm going to be using a paint marker. Now, if you don't have a paint marker, you can definitely use your small brush for some of these fine details. And then I'm also going to be using a pencil to sketch everything in. I like to use a mechanical pencil. But if you have a regular pencil, that works just fine. I have a ruler for putting in my cassette tapes and then all the colors that I'm going to be using. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to sketch in, get the outlines in for our cassette tapes. And they are just so you get an idea. Now, if you have a cassette tape, you could definitely trace that, but they're roughly around four, four by, what is that? Three, three and three quarters, or two and three quarters inches. Four by two and three quarters. Okay. So I'm going to start here with the one in the middle and then I'll put the ones on top and bottom. And if you want to go ahead just so you get this nice and in the center. So I'm going to take my ruler and give myself some room so I can actually do this. So I'm using an 8 by 10 so I'm going to find the 4 inch mark. There we go, so you can actually see what I'm doing there. Four inches. Four inches. And the nice thing about we're starting with a pencil is you will be able to cover these up with your paint. So here's my four inches. All right, smack dab in the middle there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just flip this so I get the halfway mark here for the 10 inch side, which is going to be 5 inches. So 5, and 5. So that middle one is going to be going right here in the middle. we go. So now I got my canvas pretty much split in half going this way and this way. And then from this middle mark, so the nice thing is because it is four inches, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do put the two in the middle here and then I'll do there's that side and that side. Now we're going to end up with a whole bunch of lines that we really don't want to start with, but don't worry. I would rather this be, you know, have a whole bunch of guidelines so you get a better idea of where everything's going to go than just guessing. And then once I have all of these marks in, I won't be moving my canvas around as much. Okay. 
So then I'll go ahead and I'm just going to line up all these little guidelines here, guide marks. There we go, just so it's pretty close. There we go. All right, and then, so it's two and three quarters. This way, so two and three quarters, so it was to here. So that's gonna be right around one and, well, a little less than one, so maybe like one and two thirds. Is that one and two thirds? Sorry. Doing my best to figure out my math, but two and three quarters, so let's just do a little more than one. There we go. Doing my best to get this. There we go. There we go. That looks about right. Just as long as you have the marks. Pretty. There we go. Hopes that I have that lined up right. And then one and there we go. So this is going to be my first. Let's use. Yep, that's right. Okay, so this is going to be my first cassette tape. So I'm going to go ahead, make a mark to there. And then same thing here a mark from there to there. Voila. Okay. So it looks really choppy right now, but you can see that I got that. And I'm going to go ahead and erase some of the lines that I don't want for that first guy. And again, if you have a old cassette tape and you want to outline it, that might work better for you. There we go. Just a better idea of what's going in the center there. Perfect. And then I'm going to leave just a little bit of a space in between. And I'm going to go ahead and make a line here. Like so. So now I got the top. So here's this cassette tape. Here's this one. And then the nice thing is I can just go two and three quarters down this way now. There we go. I know my. There we go. Just gonna make two guiding lines there. When you get the top, the middle one in, it's gonna make it a lot easier to do the other ones. Like so. And then I'll go ahead and get rid of that line. And then I'll do my last one up here. I'm going to leave a little space. And I'll go ahead and just a little space, so probably. There we go. There we go. And then I'll connect these best I can. Voila. That guy got a little off, but if your lines are a little off, it's no big deal. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead here and I'll do my two and three quarters. So right there. And right there. And then I'll connect. And voila. So then go ahead and erase any lines that you don't want. So we just really want to be left with the rectangles for where our cassette tapes are going to be. 
So anything in the middle. see if a bigger eraser works better. There we go. Nope. This guy is the best bet. Okay. These are going to be covered up anyways. Okay. All right. And then feel free if you want to go ahead on the edges, kind of round them out. curve there. Get rid of that. A little curve here. And they're just like curves. They're not real big honking curves. And then a little curve here. And remember this is art so it's not going to be perfect. But at the end of the day, like if you look at this guy, it's still going to look like a set tapes. this prep work I just want to paint sometimes you just gotta you know do a little extra before you get to doing what you really want to do and if you did have cassette tapes and you just went ahead and traced them feel free to fast forward to where we get to start filling in the middle parts, start to paint, okay. all right, there we go, I think that's a good, good point there, I like that, okay, so if you look at what I have here for the cassette tapes, now I think I'm going to make some of these a little bigger this time, the, so if you want the, um, the stickers, the labels, I guess you could call them. And then you can start to figure out to you how you want the inside of this to look. Some of them are clear. You can see I've got some different designs on each one. Because all cassette tapes in the center, they do have different designs. And you can use your ruler again if you want to sketch that out or if you want to freehand it. Say you want to make this guy, you know, just a little bigger. And make it a little more loose this time. I am going to leave a little space on the bottom though because all cassette tapes they got this little piece that sticks out and then under here is where the um, the tape gets red. Okay. So I will leave room for that. I'm not going to put those lines until later though so I'll make sure to put that in there after we paint the rest in. Now I'm going to have a sticker go here and I'm going to label that. And then in here I'm going to go ahead. This is where my tape is going to go. You know, I think I'm going to actually round that out. Yeah. Maybe not so wide. I'm going to bring it in just a little more. There we go. You can definitely use your ruler for this too. There we go. So now this is going to be where the tape's going to show. And then here we got a little circle that the tape winds on. And then I'll do my other one on this side. You 
can see I'm just kind of taking my time there, like so. And then you could decide maybe you have a lot of tape on this side, maybe not so much on this side. So it looks like it's reading it real good. And then there are little teeth here, but I'm going to put those in later. So don't worry about the teeth just yet. Okay. Voila. And then maybe this guy, you go ahead and maybe you got a big old label here. Maybe for your 90s alternative 80s rock, R&B, smooth jazz. So there's that. Just going to adjust it a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to have, you know what, I'm going to... On this one I'm going to, let's see. You know what, I think... Yep, I'm just going to this time, just thinking out loud. Just making some adjustments. And this time, I think I'm just going to have the inside show here. So, I'll get rid of that. And then I'll go and right here I'll put the circle. Put the circle there. And then you could even have it where you see the tape on both sides instead of up here where you just get the little part. And maybe this one, you know, just kind of goes there. And then maybe you get it where you see it going there. So it looks like it's coming and going that way. Like so. And then this guy, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a big old rectangle going around. Still leaving room down here. like magic. There we go. And then I'm going to in here just put a little label. Like so. You could even for these cassette tapes maybe you had some that were your favorite growing up. I think I had a New Kids on the Block one. It was so cool. I thought I was the coolest kid. I do love my boy bands. And then I'm going to put another. I'm putting a rectangle in a rectangle. put those circles in here. And then I'll go ahead and put the tape. Put the tape. Okay. And like so, we have the outlines to our cassette tapes in. Yay! Alright, so if you want to take a break from this, go ahead. But otherwise, I'm just going to move right along. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my background color. And I'm actually going to start with the pink in the middle, and then I'll do my yellow, and then I'll do my green. And I'm going to use my medium brush. You can definitely use your larger brush. 
I just know with my medium brush I'm going to get a little more control, especially around the cassette tapes. All right, so here are all my colors, and I'm going to take a big old scoop of white, a couple of them, and then I'll take just a teeny tiny amount of red. I want this to be a really faint pink. Yeah. And I like to mix a little water in. And if you follow us on Facebook, I do have a little video there talking about the difference between mixing water and mixing a paint medium. So feel free to check that out. And then I'm going to go up and down, keeping it sketchy. I will go back over some of this, but you can see that that's starting to cover up those pencil lines that I didn't want. You could even paint this around the sides. Just taking my time around here. And then if you go back and forth in between, I'm not going to worry about that too much. There we go. Maybe extend it down a little bit. Extend it up a little further this way. There we go. Just keeping it fun and bright, just like the 80s. Bright colors, neons, big hair. All right, and then I'm going to do some yellow. So a lot of white. I rinsed my brush out, took some white, took a little yellow. I'm going to mix them in. Now if you look on the example, that does look a little orange. And that's just because when, I, when you start to go on and you start to bring it into the pink, it will mix a little bit. Yours might not as much as it did on the example, but maybe you'll go back, maybe you'll take a little pink and you want this to blend a little better, like so. And there you can see you're starting to get that orange a little bit. Maybe you just want to take some regular yellow, deepen that up, yeah, look at that. So decide if you want to have in between where it stands out. Or, you know, it's separated a little bit, or it mixes really nice. There we go. And a little bit of paint on your brush does go a long way. There we go there, I just added some regular yellow, and you can see that really, really, really brightens that up. Like so. Actually, take a little more pink. Go mix that a little better. So I might just take a couple times. There we go. And then for this really fun lime green, now you could have these be different colors if you want, but for that fun lime green. I'm going to be taking, so I got like a turquoise color, but you might have regular green. And then just 
adding some yellow into it. It's going to get it, see how it makes that nice limey color. And then I'll take a little white. Mix it in there, just a little more white. A little more yellow, make it a little more limey. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And then I'll put that here. Just a little more white. There we go. I'm just going to be careful going down into my pink. If your pink's still a little wet, maybe let it dry a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take some yellow. That light yellow I mixed, mix it in here. Brighten that up a little more. I feel like it could be a little lighter. There we go. I'm just going in with some regular yellow, really making this limey. I don't want to extend it down too far. I don't want to lose some of that pink. And I am going to have to go in with a little more pink. I can already tell. And you might notice that too, where you get something and then you got to go back, fix it a little. I'm just going to take a little more pink. Just kind of bring it up. And I think I'm actually going to go dry this real quick. As you can see, I'm getting some green down a little further than I anticipated. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this. And then I'm going to finish that green, the green and pink blending. And then we're going to start filling in our cassette tapes. Yay! Okay, so I went ahead... And I dried my painting, and now I'm going to go in and let me just find my brush. There we go. I'm just going to touch up in between my pink and my green. So I'm going to take a little pink here. I feel like I got enough green. And I'm just going to go up and down. And as you can see, that's starting to... There we go. I like that a lot better. I just kind of fuzz out in between. You might need to go back and forth a couple times. Maybe let it dry, touch that up a little more, whatever you need to do. There we go. Okay. So next thing I'm gonna do, now that I got my background in here, yeah. Okay. I could keep doing that forever. Just fun. All right. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in 
and I'm going to take my small brush and I'm going to fill in the tape. You can't see me doing that. There we go. So I'm going to fill in just the tape part and they're a gray. So I'm going to take a lot of white, just a smidge of black, mix them together to get that nice gray. And then I'm going to go in here and just take your time and I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to have my marks do my best to have them follow a circular motion. go and as we've been going along here if you've been watching and you're like I can't keep up go ahead pause you can also rewind if you need to go back and watch anything again so don't worry about that And with the tape, if you do need to go touch any of it up, you definitely can. And if you accidentally go inside the circle, we'll be touching that up, so don't worry about that either. Voila. One more. Voila. So if you notice, there are a lot of lines, a lot of fine detail on this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and so on this one and this one I do have some labels and I'm gonna make them whatever color I want you can make them whatever color you want like this one up here it's pink this one doesn't it has a tinier label than what I have on here but I'm still gonna make this one this nice turquoise color and then this guy I chose not to have a label this time, but if you have a label, whatever color you want it to be. And I'm still using my small brush. Just going nice and slow, and I'm going to outline everything first.
go. And remember, we will be outlining everything too, and that's really going to help with this as well. If you don't have a paint marker, a Sharpie works just as good. Something to think about when we get there. There we go, I like that guy. And you know what, on this guy, I'm just gonna, I'm drawing an outline here. do that too if you realize you know what I do want to add a little more there we go I'm still gonna leave that empty but I just felt like that needed a little more I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make turquoise And then once you are done with this, please, please, please go ahead and share this. You can do so right on our Facebook page. As you're working on this you may notice just because there is a little more detail that you get really focused To this guy and I'm gonna fill him in now. I'm gonna make him a nice bright orange. And I'm gonna mix a little yellow with my orange just to make it there we go. A little more neon. Add a little white to it. There we go. Brighten that up real nice and good. And then this guy all in here, I'm gonna make him orange. Do my best to make sure to keep those edges nice and round. Bringing the paint nice and flush with the other areas. accidentally go inside something remember we'll be touching stuff up so don't worry the areas that are white I am actually gonna fill those in with white just to kind of help with that
go. Going around there. And I can see there I need to fill that in a little bit with a little more pink. Grab a little bit, make sure that's nice and flush. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. See this guy? I'm going to make him turquoise. So I'm going to use that with a little bit of white again. bringing that all the way in there we go but you could have labels all going all over on yours you might not have yours completely one color like on mine here And apparently, I heard this, uh, cassette tapes are making a comeback because they are now considered retro. So kids think they're cool just because they're old, so that's, that's happening. So cassette tapes are now the new vinyl in that sense, I guess. Although I don't know if vinyl really ever went away. There we go. All right, and then this guy down here, I'm going to make him a red. Rinse out my brush real good. And then if you want to go over any of these guys again, feel free to. If you feel like they need a second coat. If your arm's getting tired, I do have mine rested against the table. Maybe you need to hold your wrist, you know, with your other hand like so to give yourself a little more stability. Just because I know that this guy is he's a lot of work. Just for trying to keep steady.
And there we go. And as you're going to, you may notice your, some of your lines ended up not being perfectly straight. If you look at the example, those definitely aren't perfectly straight. And that's just what gives these guys just a little more character. So don't be so hard on yourself. This guy here in the center there, or around, I'm going to make that yellow. There we go, nice and bright. And if you do need to go and blow dry this in between anything, feel free to get up, go ahead, head over, blow dry. Yep, this is super fun, okay. Just gonna go ahead, touch up some of these colors a little bit. Now with the Curlix, the nice thing is once you do let it dry, you know it dries like a nice plastic so you can layer it up really good. This guy a little more paint. Just need to rinse my brush out a little bit. Still had a little orange in there. There we go. Careful when I fill this in, I just don't want to pick up any of that red. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go and blow dry this again, and then I'm going to show you where the to fill in all the areas with white if you want to do that. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and add our outlines, write down what we want each, you know, label each cassette tape. It's coming along, so excited! Okay, so now that this is all nice and dry, I got myself some fresh white, because as you can see, my white got a little dirty. I'm going to, where's my brush? There it is. I'm going to rinse it out. And then I'm just going to take some white with my nice clean brush. If you want to grab fresh water too right now before you move on, go ahead. And then with a clean brush and some white paint, I'm going to go ahead. I'll start on the top, but wherever you want to start, you can go ahead and as you can see, you can touch up, especially some outlines there. If you need to add more than one layer of white, you definitely can. I know it seems kind of silly to add white where the canvas is already white, but it helps cover up pencil lines too. 
especially in here where you might want to get that nice and round. See how that just touches that up real good. Smooth out those edges like so. Even out here. There we go. I'm just going to do one tape at a time. And like I was saying earlier, go ahead and make sure you share this with the Facebook group. Oops. Got a little white on there, but remember you can always go back touch stuff up. Because I'm really excited to see what colors you decided to make your cassette tapes. Maybe you want a little more subtle with the coloring. There we go. Now I just want to touch up this right there. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead. I got all of that filled in and I'm going to go ahead blow dry this. And then it is time for the fine details. So if you're not there yet, you can pause this and when you're ready to move on, you can move on to those fine details. All right, so I am back and I am ready for some of those nice details, those outlines. And I got a paint marker. I got this one from Michaels. And they come in different, you know, thicknesses. This is a nice, it's not super thin, not super fat. But I'm going to shake it, and then if yours is brand new, you might have to kind of stop it to get the paint out. Just keep pressing down. Mine's already coming out. And you might have to do that every now and again when you're outlining everything. But go ahead, and then you're just going to... Take your time, go nice and slow. Slow and steady is the theme of this painting. And I'm going to outline him first. If you need to rotate as you go too, if that makes it easier for you. It's just making it a little easier for me. just to get these outlines how I want them. There we go. And then if you notice on the example, so there are four little dots here on the corners and those are, I believe, little screws that hold the cassette tape together. So I'm gonna put a little dot, a little dot little dot, little dot, and then I'll go ahead and outline this. Take 
taking my time. Oop, made that a little thick. That's okay. And then these guys here too, I kind of curved. Like so. And then they're straight up here when I connect them. And if you have that happen here where I was outlining and I accidentally went a little too far, just thicken it up. It's alright. And then I'll fill in the circles. And now if you don't have a paint marker, remember you can use a small paintbrush to do the same thing. And then I'll add my little teeth. Kind of go in main parts of the clock. So noon, three, six, and nine. And then I'll go in between. Like so. Same thing here. So I got eight little teeth total. That just makes that easier. And then I got my first guy mostly filled in. You don't want to forget. So kind of an angle line there, an angle line there, and then you're going to connect them. And then this is so the tape kind of comes up here and then if you remember that's where it would feed. And then there are three little screws here holding that together. Just going to touch that guy up. Okay. So same thing for this guy. I'm going to go ahead and outline them. And again, if you need to rotate your painting as you do this, go ahead. For me, that's just easier. Keeping my edges nice and curved. go ahead put those little dots and I'll keep outlining now as you outline you may notice that it's pretty you know each one's pretty much the same you just outline all your different parts This guy, if you remember, I did have some pencil lines where they just kind of went here and here. These are just kind of little detail lines, kind of like I did on this one. Just taking my time. I'm actually showing the tape kind of spooling out there a little bit, heading that way. You might have that happening too. Voila. Swirl around. Get the grooves in, or the little ridges. And then this guy, I'm going to actually have that meet up with there. Just because I have this going down a little more. 
There we go. Like so. Look at that. Another tape. And then as you're going along too, if you want to add maybe some fun little swirl lines inside the tape, the tape portion. Just so it looks like it's swirling around. Like so. Oop, and then this guy actually started doing the inside. Do that too, no big deal. I'm just gonna outline this label. And then I'll go ahead and go ahead and outline here like that. Shake that. There we go. Outline here. Like so. keep saying voila. I don't know why. Maybe it helps with the process. There we go. Add some little grooves in there. Little details. There we go. notice on this guy, I'm not outlining him in the same steps that I did the other ones. And if you notice, it really doesn't affect the outcome, the outcome of the final product. So if you're going along and you're like, oh no, I accidentally did that first before that, as you can see, it doesn't hurt it. Make sure you get that guy in there. And then take a look over this. Make sure there's nothing that you missed. And then you can go ahead and label these however you want. Number one hits. This is a good old mixtape. But remember, you can label these however you want. And then I am a fan of the 80s. Born in the 80s, raised in the 80s and 90s. 80s music has always stuck with me. So there we go. So go ahead, see if there's anything else you want to add to yours. I'm going to sign mine in the lower corner here. You can sign yours too if you'd like. Like so. And there you have it. So I want to thank you so much for painting with me today. Here we go, I'll put them right next to each other. So as you can see, they're the same painting, but slightly different as yours is going to be too. And then just make sure you go ahead, share these with face, our Facebook page. Let us see how you did because I would love to see your final painting. That's always one of my favorite things. 
So go ahead, enjoy the rest of your day. Feel free to hang this up on the wall. Reminisce about the 80s, why not? Or 90s. Because that tapes are still hot in the 90s. And I'm rambling now, so with that note, I'm going to let you go. And I look forward to painting with you again soon. Have a good one.